Hi Coffee Beans, hope you guys are loving and taking care of yourselves. The first habit I've picked up is waking up at 6 as opposed to 7 because I actually fell off my initial routine and waking up at 6 just gives me an extra hour in my day and makes me feel more accomplished because by 9 I'd have already done a lot. The first thing I do is pray and read my devotional. I was watching Ellen and she said, Checking your phone first thing in the morning is like inviting so many people into your space, into your room, before you've even jumped out of bed. Another thing I've been intentional about is opening my curtains because I realized on the difficult days, I tend to just keep my curtains closed, windows closed, it gets stuffy, and I ended up telling myself I deserve light, I deserve fresh air, and to feel fresh. And another thing I've also been doing is making my bed because if I force myself to jump out of bed and make it, I know I will not crawl back into it and just have an unproductive day. So I just then hop into the shower and I am so so intentional about hopping into the shower also right after jumping out of bed because i noticed that whenever i check my phone after waking up i tend to like just go back into bed even if i'd come out and showering just makes you feel fresh and makes you feel like you started your day Next, I picked out my outfit, just something cute and comfortable. I'm trying to stay away from changing back into pajamas after showering because you look good, you feel good, besties. Another thing that's easy to lose track of is drinking water. So I make sure as soon as I'm changed, I am filling up my bottle so that throughout the day, I am drinking and sipping and I am filling it up again because this may seem like a very small thing but then it's something I'd also neglected. Next is making breakfast. I think this is the biggest thing I let go of. Like I was eating very irregularly so now I'm consciously deciding to make myself breakfast every morning um initially it always isn't always like this kind of breakfast you guys know i love eating pop and all in the morning so sometimes if i have leftovers from the previous evening i'm eating that just as long as i am eating something and giving my body some energy and then another habit i picked up is cleaning after myself regularly When you're in a funk, it's just so easy to procrastinate, especially with cleaning, because you're telling yourself that um, you'll do it, you'll do it, you'll do it. But then I realized that doing things immediately, I like I tell myself if I see something lie on the floor, I just tell myself to pick it up then there. So it's like a then there mentality to say whatever I use when I'm cooking, when I'm eating, I wash it immediately. If I see something lying on the couch, I pack it away immediately. If I see something on the floor, I pack it away immediately. Another affirmation I've been reciting is that I deserve a clean space. I deserve to breathe clean air. I deserve to be in a very sanitary and clean environment. And I owe it to myself and I promise myself to always keep my surroundings clean. Because something people don't talk about when your mental health is in the funk is how much it's easy to just let go of your surroundings. Like... Um, someone close to me always says that if I want to know her mental state, I should just look at her environment. And that, that is so true. Like, usually your environment reflects what's going on in your mind. And I don't clean thoroughly every single day, but I make sure to at least get in 10 minutes of cleaning my surroundings every day. the brand to the name i actually hate coffee but i did announce on my instagram if you aren't following me please go follow me that i am now into mocha i bought this woolworth mocha like last year but then it was still too coffee like for me so i saw a hack on tiktok to add more of your own hot chocolate to make it into a more chocolatey kind of drink so here i am just making my iced mocha and shout out to agatha For this housewarming gift, it's a very cute um, ice tray that gives like these diamond shaped ice cubes. So once my ice smoker is ready, I sit and start to plan my day and write down my to-do list. And mind you, this is all I've done and I still have not yet checked my phone. 
so once i've done my to-do list i know what's set for my day and i can then now check my phone and get into work usually i'm very busy in the morning so even when i get onto my phone eventually i won't even have time for social media because now that i've freshly written my to-do list everything i have to do is like right at the top of my head and i just want to get it done then comes my favorite part of the day which is my therapy counseling sessions which i absolutely love and something i've also started doing is attending my sessions while i'm on my bed just for a sense of comfort since i do attend my sessions virtually sessions around four o'clock or five o'clock so it's now time to wind down close curtains and get into making dinner today i just made a all-in-one roast if i should call it because i put my meat my potatoes and my vegetables in like one cook in bag i really really love that woolworths roasting kit because it's just so much less admin like i literally just cut up my vegetables put them inside this um lunchbox thing 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 season my food with the seasoning packet add more seasoning because you know as a black person i need more seasoning <laughs> and then i close the bag and i put it into a roasting dish and throw it into the oven and that is so much less meal prep and so much less work So it usually takes time to cook and this is where I usually take a shower but today I was feeling more like taking a bath so I start by lighting my candles I got this candle from YouTube actually shout out shout out shout out and um, I start to run my bubble bath I know today I made such a concoction I promise guys this isn't what I do every day I was just feeling extra today and I actually tried these bath salts for the first time and I love them so much they're so aesthetically pleasing because they have like these rose dried rose petals that actually become moist in the water and then I use my favorite bath bomb, the intergalactic bath bomb. And yeah, guys, I know this bath cocktail probably isn't the best for my coochie. But then, um, yeah, I did enjoy this bath and um, did not get any yeast infection so far. So I just soak in my bath and just reflect on my day if I'm playing some Snow Allegro or just something to just get my mood going and just enjoy my own company. I then dive into my skincare. I know this seems like a very small, insignificant task, but then can we actually be real and acknowledge how difficult it is, um, especially nighttime skincare when you're in a funk to like get up and actually do your skincare routine. So I take my time with my own time and do my skincare routine in no rush, just loving on myself, touching on myself, you know? And um, yeah, my skin's actually doing so much better now. It's such a bad breakout, but then we're recovering. And then for the evening, I pick some warm, fuzzy pajamas. I actually also turn on my electric blanket here, which I didn't show, and throw on my gown. It was actually quite a chilly evening, hence all the layers. I then sit down to eat, dive into some Netflix. I'm currently watching Bling Empire. Um, wouldn't recommend it. Nothing to write home about, but then just something to just pass time while I'm eating, if that makes sense. And then as a wind down, I also put away my phone, pick out an affirmation card and start to journal reflect on my day even more but then more so in words and i really love today's affirmation which was like i'm not my past my past does not determine my future period and that is it for my day i usually just scroll on pinterest or read an ebook till i fall asleep and i'm so happy about all these habits i've picked up and life has actually been so much more great lately despite the ups and downs thank you so much for watching until next time